All right, hello everybody. This is Jennifer Lynn. Uh, typically, I come to you live on uh, Tuesdays for Testimonial Tuesday, where I share about my passion to help people live better, sleep better, and feel better through natural health and wellness. Um, but this week, I'm going to kind of change it up a little bit, and I have brought my special guest, which is my husband, Andrew. Um, so he was diagnosed with keratoconus probably six, seven years ago. Okay, even longer than that. Um, and then in the past couple of years, we found out that there was a new FDA approved procedure called corneal cross-linking. Um, we ended up going to a doctor in Pittsburgh. Uh, you've been up there to see her well, four times now, but um, three times prior to actually getting the cross-linking done. Um, and so Andy had the cross-linking done this uh, previous Tuesday, Tuesday, and it's Sunday, yeah, it's Sunday. now. Yeah. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So six days ago, he had the procedure done. And the purpose of this video is we just want to share a little bit about our journey. So if you were in the position that we were in, finding out not only that you have keratoconus, but you have to go through the corneal cross-linking, what can you expect? What's the procedure like? What's the recovery time like? All of that sort of thing. So um, kind of talk about your journey. Um, all right, so when you get there, um, they give you a couple of Xanax to take um, just to kind of calm you down, um, you know, so your anxiety is not up because it is, you know, they're like going into your eye and they're going to hold your eye open. Um, while you're awake. While you're awake. Yeah, you're awake. Um, but they numb it. So, you know, they put some numbing drops in your eye. It's fine. Um, they put some antibiotic and anti-inflammatory in your eye, you take the day before you get it and start taking that the day before. Okay, don't do like I did and not take it, which you're, you'll be fine either way. But take it the day before, start it, um, uh, take a, a two drops of the anti-inflammatory, and then three minutes later, take the antibiotic. Uh, okay, so- No, wait a minute, those are the drops? Yeah, those are the drops. Okay. So take them three minutes in part, that way it you know, absorbs in. Um, once it yeah so once it absorbs you can feel it um and then you take the other ones so i didn't do that either but still got the eye we're good um so and then once you get up there um probably good to go get the xanax first so you're not waiting around um have awkward conversation with the doctor which is fine watch her um but um we went up there and you go in they're in masks. It's kind of weird. They don't really tell you, you know, what's happening. So I asked them, ask them, hey, will you talk me through this? Um, what you're doing, how you're doing it, why you're doing it, whatever. So just let them talk you through it. Um, you know, probably, yeah, music is, you know, good distraction, you know, in the background. Um, whatever you like, just tell them, you know, oldies, you know, uh, it's classic rock for me. You know, it's good. But um, so they put the... Um, the numbing drops in there and then they clamp your eye open so that it only lasts for a minute right so it hurts just kind of when they they clamp your your eye open um but it, it goes away if if yeah. it still hurts tell the tell the girl and she'll put more numbing drops in it right so don't be afraid just say hey this i can feel this she'll put more numbing drops in it. it's not a problem the only problem the, the only reason they don't give you numbing drops you know when you go home is because it actually deteriorates your cornea. It's what we're trying to avoid. So um, just think, keep that in mind too, but it's not gonna hurt you during the procedure. So um, then the doctor comes in and they, they put in this, they get this little sponge and they put the uh, stuff on your eye while you're awake um, to remove the epithelia, the skin. So, and yeah, that helps with the removal of, of the... The only weird part about it is seeing it, right? You can see her coming in to your eye and then, you know, doing all this weird stuff. You could feel it. So it's a little weird. Um, and then you can see the scalpel come in, right, to your eye. And then, but you can't feel it. You can see her doing all this maneuver stuff. It lasts for a minute. That's it. You're done. Okay. Once she's in there, you know, she's pretty quick, maybe a minute and a half 
And then that was it. All right. So now you're just kind of your eyes like. Rrr. So and then they start putting the drop. So they do a drop a minute for 30 minutes. Right. They have a little um, alarm or buzzer that dings, whatever. And so you can sit there and talk to, you know, Jody. I talked to Jody, you know, learned about her and talked to her and stuff like that. It doesn't hurt. It's all good. And then this is while your eyes being exposed to the UVA light, right? No, no, no. This is before. So oh, really? so we do the drops, one drop a minute of the riboflavin, um, 30 drops every minute. So and then she comes back in, she checks on you, everything's good. And then they bring in the the UV light. So it looks like a little disco ball, right, up there. And then there's another light here, and it shine it shines right here. So so all you you want to look into the ball, all right. So look into the disco ball. Think of all your fun times and funky times, whatever. So, um, but don't get bored and start looking away, like I did. Which is probably a little bit hard because you've had the yeah. So it was only right. right? It's only, it was like the last two minutes, and you know they're there, they're watching you, and they say, "Hey, come back to us, whatever." So you know you're staring into this light you know you can you know you just focus focus on the light it's a little red thing, you know disco ball all right so once and then every two minutes they put the drops in of the riboflavin with that so what that's doing is creating a bond you know you know, uh, an outer layer a strong outer layer of your eye from what they just scraped off so um once that's done under the cornea yeah it's fine under the cornea right okay. so you're out of it so all right, so you got an hour, right, of, of all this, your eyes open. Don't worry, they're dropping your, your you know, it's fine. You know, it's, it, you think it's weird. The only weird part was like when they were like putting the, the, the clamp in your eye and holding it open, that was the only like hard part of the whole procedure. Um, that kind of was like, I was digging into the chair, you know, my head was back. It's like, frick. So, but it only lasts for a minute. So anyway, once that's done, so they let you up. So once once they let you up, just take a breath, take as long as you want before you step anywhere, okay? Just get your bearings, take a deep breath, you know, let everything come back because you, you've been laying down for an hour and they've been working on your eyes. So just let all the blood come back to your face, your head, and, you know, get your bearings. And then, you know, don't, don't overdo it, you know, because number one, you're on Xanax and you've just had crap in your eye. So you're going to be a little off. So, you know, just go slow. You know, if you have to hold on to somebody, hold on to somebody, you're fine. Okay. Now the fun part happens. Um, when you go wherever you go for the rest of the day, it's going to be painful. Make certain you show up with sunglasses. Sunglasses, yes. So, mm -hmm. yeah, sunglasses. And um, so, like, we were in Pittsburgh, so we're two and a half hours from our home. So it didn't make sense to drive all the way home and then all the way back. So we got a hotel room, like, five minutes away. So what Jen did, she did a video or watched a video like this that said, hey, you know, we did this. This is what to do. So um, and the re recommendations on that video that I thought were helpful, a few things. Number one, you want to take whatever type of uh, pain reliever medication that you normally would take. So whether it be Advil, Tylenol, whatever, bring that with you. Um, and take a lot. Uh-huh. Bring a full bottle, definitely. A box of Kleenex without any type of lotion in it because um, the I think your eyes end up watering quite well, they a bit. Water, but the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to rub your eye, and you only want to – you know, do underneath of your eye. Like when you put the drops in, it's it's just underneath your eye. Don't touch your eye. Don't you know? Um, don't rub infection. your eye. Uh, yeah, infection is the biggest thing. So you want to make sure that your hands are clean. You know, you wash your hands anytime you put your drops in your eye, or you know, make sure you know if she does it. Make sure she washes her hands. Um, you know, and what helped me when I was in, you know, in the bed was I just stayed up. You know, I, I was up and I, had, I was upright and I slept, you know. I think I focused more, trying to focus not so much on the pain, but they give you a, a, 
he was on gabapentin, which is a nerve blocker, and he was on that for I think like five days. Right. But I, I think, didn't really need it the last day, but I, I think what made the biggest difference though um, was my, it was my mom who ended up saying, go ahead and give him four Advil mm -hmm. at a time. Cause originally thanks, we we're just mom. doing two. Yes. Thanks. Thanks mom. <laughs> so we gave him four Advil. Um, and then I went and got, uh, so I basically, I just left him in the room, turned all the lights off. Cause it was just it, light was too much. Turned all the lights off. I went and, you know, made phone calls, did my work, that kind of stuff. And just let him just, relax um and then i brought back dinner we ate real quick and then um uh so what we use normally it, on a regular basis is cbd oil so we took a full dropper of it and then we also use something that's called sleep spray so we took a bunch of it and i think between the two of these and the four advil it mm -hmm. finally just helped him you know relax and um just he was able to sleep the majority of the night and I, cause I was awake most of the time or worried that I wouldn't wake up when he woke up cause I wanted to be up to help them. Um, but I think between both of those plus the Advil, it, it helped him relax and it, and it helped him um, get some sleep that night. I think the, I other, would... the other tip real quick I do want to give is start making notes right oh, away yeah. of what medication you took at what time. So you always know like where you stand and when you need the next dose, when you need the next set of drops, when you need the next set of Advil. Um, and we just started doing Advil at, literally every two hours. So I, I gave him four to begin with. And then every two hours after that, he took two more. And that, that I think helped stay ahead of the pain, even though it was still super painful. I think it helped stay ahead of it to where you could at least um, get some sleep. Yeah, and the I, only thing I remember, I maybe remember waking up four times, rolling over, looking at the clock, and it was like a few hours later, you know, thinking that I was just laying there in so much pain, and I wasn't sleeping, but then I'd look at the clock, and it's like two hours later, and I, so it means I, I slept, um, but yes, it, it is painful, it is excruciating, I mean, it's manageable, I mean, it's not like getting a hot stick poked in your eye i mean it's just it's Again, there we're, we're four days five six days later we're six days she's later doing great so you know i drove right. today <laughs> and she didn't want me to i drove but i mean that's fine I, I i right now i can see through the the, the band-aid right it looks blurry but i i feel i can see through it and then i can see clearly so i think that's a plus i think when we go tomorrow and have our update I think everything's gonna be fine. There's no pain right now. I did feel a little um, sand, like they said sandpaper or sand in your eye a little bit yesterday. Like today I can feel the, the Band-Aid or the contact in my eye. I know it's there. Uh, it doesn't bother me, um, but you know, you blink and then they have, yeah. the, you could feel it. Um, there was one day where it felt like I did have something in my eye and, and your eyelashes get stuck together from the medication. So what you do, or what I did was close your eye and then just wipe your eyelash with a wet towel, just very lightly, be very careful um, and do that kind of clean up because you're gonna have crud, you're gonna have crud up in here, you're gonna have crud down here. So just take a, a damp cloth and wipe that out. Just make sure you know it's clean um, and then you, you'll be fine. Like I said, I mean, I have a light, right here you know shining on me and it's fine you know i don't have any problems right now right now i can feel like i could feel the contact right here but that's about it but that you can get the the fake tears and if that bothers you put those in i really haven't had that problem i haven't needed it so i've been good so this is other than the first night the whole you know, night, uh, the whole week has been fine. It's the one night we went, it was Thursday, two days later, we went to dinner. I had my sunglasses on uh, at, at dinner, you know, at a, at a restaurant. That was it. I think the one thing that I'm thinking of while I'm listening to him say this is when we, right as we left the doctor's offices, when they had him take his first dose of the gabapentin, which is a nerve blocker, I would actually tell you to go ahead and take your pain reliever, whether it be Advil, mm -hmm. Tylenol, whatever you take, yep. take it at the exact same time because we waited. I think we waited yeah. a couple hours before we, we got that for you. And I think that kind of put you behind the pain curve. So yeah. 
um, take your pain reliever at the same time you take whatever kind of nerve blocker they give you right as you're leaving the doctor's office and then just stay on top of it. And again, make notes of what time you took it, what you took that way, because you, you know, you lose all sense of time, especially in a, you know, dark hotel room. Um, so just keep writing that stuff down. That way you have a recording of it and you know exactly where you are and what you need to take next. And um, that'll help you stay ahead of it. Um, I have a high tolerance for pain. So that's one thing that she didn't say and I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you do not have a high tolerance to pain. Um, take this as your lever that the bar is high for you if you're watching this um, because, you know, my tolerance is, is, is pretty high. You know, so take, take extra pain reliever. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, good luck. Just know that um, it's it, you're going to be fine. It doesn't last. It doesn't last. It really, as as much as they say it hurts the first night, yes, it does hurt the first night. But the next day, you 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 wake up and you know you it feels like sandpaper in your eye the next day, and then and that, that was actually I was shocked that first <clears throat> morning when we woke up at the hotel and I asked him how are you doing? And I fully anticipated hearing, I'm in so much pain, this is horrible. And the words instead was, I'm actually doing pretty good. Yeah. So it wasn't you know? <laughs> bad. So it was, it was all right. Yeah. So, um, highly recommend, you know, doing this versus the corneal transplant. You know, this is a good step. Right. And that's um, what we're all trying to avoid, avoid is the corneal yeah. transplant. So but, Anyway, we just wanted this to we just wanted this to benefit somebody. So if if it's you, if you're in this uh, position trying to figure out, you know, is it safe? Should I go through with it? This is our journey. This is our experience, and we just wanted to share it with you. So, like Andy said, we're going to the doctor tomorrow. Um, so we'll probably do another video to let you know what the update is on that one, and then maybe we'll do some more videos down the line just to um, continue to up update people. And so. Um, if you're seeing this and you want to watch our full journey, just watch for the additional videos as well. So, thank you and good luck to you. And uh, just, yeah, just know it doesn't last forever. So thank you. Bye.